Hello Scrapper friends, it's Marilyn Rivera here, welcome back to my channel. I have this layout tutorial for today, it is a mixed media page with a beach theme that I created with the July limited edition kit. I just love this side of the paper, look of these vertical lines with these soft colors. And it is my principal photo, I will create a multiple uh, photos layout today but first I need to prepare my paper because I will do mixed media so I am applying clear gesso I will I'm using this uh, silicone brush it is from Fina Bear. and once I cover all the paper I will uh, let it dry now I am tracing around uh, the, my photo here with a pencil in that way, it's easy for me to see what I want to add all the texture. And I'm using this uh, Vicky Boutin stencil that comes in the kit with modeling paste. I'm going to give textures in the uh, right side, in the bottom right side where the photo will be. I am applying modeling paste. I'm still using my silicone brush. And because I am I just love the, uh, the, the colors uh, of the paper and I don't want to add more paint. I, that is the reason that I, will, I am adding uh, white gesso over all the modeling paste because I want to highlight all the textures in white color and you can see here. Now I will do the same steps in the left side. I will apply modeling paste and then I will add gesso. I just love the design of this stencil. It has a lot of waves and it's so, so nice. It, it, it comes in the kit and you can see here how we look. Now I'm going to dry all these textures and I'm using my heat tool. And to make this chart, I will uh, let this, this part out of the video but now I take this paper from the same collection and I'm cutting some of the weights uh, from this paper and now I will start to make my composition I cut this doily using this die from Prima to put uh, to uh, make like a frame of my photo and here are some of the waves I just al I already add some uh, cardboard behind these waves to add this dimension. I am adding now a piece of cheesecloth just over the stencil work because I want to create uh, different layers with uh, different elements here. Uh, I'm using some of the surfboard die cuts. I'm also using the Prima flowers that comes in the kit and now I will start to build my composition with the different photos and different elements from the kit. I will let you with music and I come back soon. see here everything is at here I made some changes here I uh, add the flip-flops on the bottom part and I want to add some lace uh, behind these uh, 
here but I let this step to the end not sure yet but I add a piece of lace behind, behind the flip flops in the bottom you can see here the shells and how I change everything now I will I decided to smooth all the edges around the embellishment here so I take my paintbrush and almost dry uh, paintbrush dry I apply a little of gesso around all these uh, around the die cuts all the embellishment here around the page in that way I can smooth a little the background lines uh, of the paper and it helps too to give a little of depth and to highlight to enhance all the colors of the different uh, element that I put over my, my paper. Now I'm going to add some uh, texture, extra texture, and I'm using 3D gloss gel because I want to adhere some of these art stones on, on my project. I will. I am trying to adhere this in layers. Some of uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, are stones I, I I am adding over the flowers. Some others behind the flip flops. Others in between uh, the flowers and the paper. And you will see that I am trying to create uh, different dimension with the same bits here. And I will add this uh, art stone around all the. Uh, you will see at the end that I add this over all the the project, all the embellishments on the background. I'm adding. Uh, I added them. You can see here all with the 3d gloss gel but you can also use for the art stones a uh, tacky glue uh, i already use it and it works now i am adding uh, i cover the photos and i'm uh, giving a white paint splatters uh, i would add enough of this white paint splatter i think that with this theme of water waves it goes perfect and i want that this page looks soft because i want to keep these uh, lovely colors uh, on the background and I think the white helps to uh, like a melt or blend all the colors okay now I will uh, uncover the photo and you can see let me clean here some white paint splatters over the photo and here is how it looks so far I'm going to add a few of uh, pearls here and there with a the hot glue and there you can uh i prefer sometimes to adhere the the purse with the gel medium but uh just to because i want to to move fast in this page i'm uh, using the hot glue and you can see here how it looks so far take a look I add here. One other thing that I did is I used the Metallica acrylic paint by Fina Vera in white pearl and I uh, paint all the art stone and look how it looks. They look so lovely now. And here's when I take the Sharpie, it is an oil uh, marker and I will enhance or highlight, I don't know why but I, I want to uh, once it's dry, I don't think that the stencil work that I love uh, is, I don't know, it's like a, it blends with all the the work on the background. So I want to highlight all the lines and the designs. And for that reason, I am take my Sharpie and I just trace some of the lines of the stencil. I, I'm, I, I'm doing only in the part that I can see now I now will add uh, over all the stencil work and with the same uh, um, marker I add in some uh, white tiny white dots on the background and I just love the effect okay I continue adding more of this uh, effect on the page I'm going also to add a second layer of the stencil work I am tracing some of the area, the ones that I want to uh, to highlight more, because they will be uh, they will be very white, and I 
continue adding here and there. Now I think it's time to stamp. I'm going to use this recollection white ink with the Boboni stamp from the kit and I'm uh, going to use this one that looks like bubbles and I am stamping randomly on the background just to add a little of depth and more textures on the background and uh, remember my friends that all the information about the kit are in the description box down below if you want to follow me in my social media i always make different projects and you can check there and here is the final result look i hope that you enjoy this video it's a page that is easy to create and i hope it inspired you let me know if you like it with a thumbs up and here are two more videos that maybe you are interested uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell see you soon with other video tutorial nos vemos bye bye